Anyway, ni hao. Who so, the told there was me now? <laughs> ah, Nikki, period. Hey, how, how are you? Prince Freddy, how are you? I'm well. How are you both? You don't sound well. Put a little pep in your voice. Please. Let me drink some of my raspberry hibiscus tea. Maybe it will liquidate my throat. <laughs> liquidate. <laughs> How are you? Do you like my mug? Oh my god, yeah, I love it. It's so cute. How are you, Kay? I love your hair. You're giving. You're giving what needs to be gave. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing well. How are you, Themis? I am doing well. We had a really long conversation on the Discord today, and I had like they made me forget about this life for a minute. So you like, seem really have... well rested and like refreshed. Really? Are you refreshed? I maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> me fear I've been like working nonstop. And, yeah, like, I just work and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I know you've been working a lot, so I'm like, you know, you seem really yeah. refreshed today. Like I you mean, got to be fair, rest. Yeah, I haven't gone to the gym in like hmm. a week, so that's hmm. new for me. Hmm. Very new for me. What's new, Kay? Um, <laughs> I'm, you know I try not to say too much about anything in real yeah. life. Um, You're good. Much, you know, oh. people are still messaging me, like, on Instagram and stuff, like, mad about the podcast I used to be on. Can hey, you... Why? People will be like, I knew you hated Kevin Samuels, you B-word, like here like a year since I've over a year since I've been on that podcast and people are still mad about it. Is Was it, it like an investigation into whether or not you like Kevin Samuels? <laughs> I don't even hate him. Like I did, I've never said that I hated him. I People just, I don't know. It's really strange, but I just find it strange. Like why tell me this now? <laughs> like I bring this up now, but yeah. So I get those little messages every now and then, and I'm just like, okay, we're still doing that. I wonder how long that will go on. Will Probably I be like forever, 50 and people, people are like, I'm like 52, <laughs> and people literally like, forever. They do not have a life. And again, I've never said at all that I hate it anyone so that is the part that makes <laughs> why are you why is your head why didn't you tilt your head like that petty say what's on your mind petty the k just turn into a black spinning circle <laughs> the power of the samuels mm. They're really coming hard. They're coming fast and they're coming hard today. Um, so we, we're not going to go through Kay's hate mail ever on stream. We should go through, we should go through Kay's hate mail. Uh, she's messaging. Let's see. They got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Do it. How have you been? I wasn't gonna ask you how you were, but since there's only two of us left, how are you? Uh I'm doing well. All right, great. So anything new, anything you want to talk about, anything on your mind? I'm so, trying to make this casual, like we're friends and we care about what each other thinks. Still sweeping, still mopping. Um I learned that people have a different way of cleaning themselves after using the restroom yesterday. Literally yesterday, I learned that people, I thought I was a hygienic person, but apparently people are actually really, really cleaning themselves um, after Your they, microphone is giving very much dusty. I don't know what it's doing. Should it's they're giving this frying sound, like it's like. Is that better? 
Are you sure? <laughs> People are going to think that's a sign. My computer cut off because they're going to be like, you were speaking about that Your person. <laughs> but <laughs> I wasn't speaking about that person, but whatever. Petty wants us to say we like his mug. Petty, we like your mug. Uh, that's a good. Let me see it, Petty. Huh? Let me see it. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I think it was like a dollar eighty nine at Target or somewhere. Huh? You know. So, right. I love when people compliment something and then I tell them how much it costs. Oh, are you one of those people? Mm-hmm. Oh, you like I this? I think I'm one of those people too. You like this shirt? This is a really nice shirt, really upscale shirt. $3. I'll be like, I had this since high school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. Have y'all been on the internet lately? A little bit. Hey V, hey everyone, welcome. I keep forgetting to just say welcome Hello. to everyone. Welcome everyone. Thank you all for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but let's be fair, it's Wednesday, so nothing is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <sighs> Betty, we 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 care. We care a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that one dollar eighty five cents. Petty, you need to get it like all the sand on one side and time it to see how long it takes because I think that was a question that we all had last time we saw that. I like, what asleep, is the timer? Uh, I fell asleep listening to it, waiting. <laughs> you can it can't the- be two hours. So you can hear the sand in it, unfortunately. Hmm. Mm. Nina said, Petty, we care. (laughs) That's why we are asking about it. Um, Oh, this? It covers my uh, AirPods. How much do you think that cost? It's a little OtterBox for my my AirPods. It's the OtterBox brand? Mm Mm-hmm. Every Wednesday, I question my life and what I'm doing with it. (laughs) Because you showed us a cup, and the cup that you were drinking out of was giving um, Charlie, whoever the biggest TikTok star who's a millionaire, uh, went to Walmart and cosplayed as a employee. She cosplayed as a functioning member of society and put a Walmart. As she should. And that's um, true. What's funny? Kyra Banks went on the street and pretended to be homeless. You said Carlton Banks. <laughs> no. <laughs> to keep Kevin Sam <laughs> Poltergeist at B period. Thank you. Um, I have a question though. Did y'all see what happened with Tamar Braxton, Krishan Rock, and James Wright? I saw a little of the Krishan thing. All right, y'all want to play some of it uh, we, from the Impressive Channel so we can discuss. A tad bit, yeah. What do you mean a tad bit? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, Prince Freddy? <laughs> oh, you were asking about um you were asking about this. This is um oh this is just a, my mouse pad that I put my mouse on. Yeah. How much do you think that costs? Eleven ninety nine. Mm, close, close. How much? Four dollars and eighty nine cents. Oh, I thought you were just saying it was an impressive thing to about his mouse pad. Oh my god! 
anniversary tour. And she brought out Tony Braxton, which was a big moment. But she also brought out Krishan. Now, I have to say, I don't know what Tamar was thinking inviting Krishan to the show. Krishan was acting a fool. I mean, she was acting a fool in front of the Tony Braxton. It was so embarrassing. She bent over trying to twerk on Tamar. And Tony looked appalled. Like, what? Also, she was harassing one of Tamar's other background singers. It was just a chaotic mess. It was clear that she wasn't sober. And I understand that Tamar wanted to create a moment. She wanted to bring her out there, but she just didn't fit with the crowd. She didn't fit with the ambiance. She just wasn't in her right mind, to be honest. So I do think it was a poor decision on Tamar's part to invite Krishan, but I'm not going to blame Tamar for what Krishan did. Now, backstage, things got really heated because Krishan got mad that she didn't get to perform. So instead of trying to resolve the situation like a normal adult would, Krishan decided to knock out James Wright, an innocent bystander. Y'all know James. He's the patty pie guy. He doesn't do anything to anybody. All he does is sing. But she decided to knock him in the face. And Krishan was wearing a bunch of rings. I mean, look at her hand. So you know she did some damage to his face. And Tamar's collaborator, LaTroy, went online and put the whole situation on blast. He was furious. Go. All right. So before we get to his response, because I don't want to play the video all the way through, um, it's Petty's with Trainer, period. <laughs> hey, Sin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank Hello. you so much for being here. Um, Hey to everyone in the chat. I have a problem now. So Tamar invites Krishan to her show. I'm not sure why, but like the Baltimore and all of that, I guess you, you're bringing them together. Krishan is here twerking in front of your sister. Um, Krishan is here with her chaotic. Krishan is chaotic. And I do... I want to leave space in the chat for people who want to defend Krishan. But, like, if you do defend her in the chat, I'm probably going to just, like, put your comment up here and respond to it. Because I don't understand who could be defending Krishan at this point. Like, I, I don't understand why people are, like, out here defending Krishan. For those who don't know the story, she claims that she was invited there and she thought it was to perform. And so she's asking around, like, why didn't she get to perform? And decided to just, out of nowhere, punch James White, which is the backup singer for um, uh, Tamar, in the face. Like, you should be under the jail. Like, I don't understand, like, what is happening. Like, I don't understand why charges haven't been pressed and all of that yet. But let's get into this. I just wanted to, like, put it out there because I, I think a lot of people um, don't know what is happening. So that's what's happening. Tamar invited Krishan to her show. She jumped on stage doing all this mess and then was trying to perform even though she wasn't slated to perform. And she got mad that she wasn't booked to perform and punch someone in the face. So, yeah. Do you think um, the community... you think the community protects abusers? <laughs> yes. She punched him when he tried to reassure her that they didn't know she was... Supposed yeah, because she claimed that they're playing with her. Like, girl, <laughs> nobody played with you. <laughs> Why do you think you were supposed to perform? So well, does she have a song that's like... Um... Girl, apparently she's a rapper. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So she, she's a rapper. She's not just a reality star. She's not like other girls. All right, let me stop. <laughs> I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me, he can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto disgusting gutter but i don't even want to call her a girl first of all she's trash she should have never been at my show so she come to tamar concert which i planned and i will say that um drunk with a thousand people smelling like weed looking dumb okay and so she apparently she makes music i didn't know that you know what i'm saying and apparently she wanted to drop a beat so she was mad that she didn't get to perform I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I didn't know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool, okay? So now she kind of took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass, 
during Love and War. She ruined the song. She ruined the concert. She ruined the moment. So then she go backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms into my dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus, right? So everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there rough, rough, like a dungeon dragon, right? So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like nobody tried to like shade you. We, we didn't know that you was supposed to sing. She like, lie again. Lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital right now because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them. And I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Croissant know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. <clears throat> I was attacked for no reason. So <clears throat> there's two parts to this conversation. One is how you feel about someone's behavior. Two, how you respond to someone's behavior publicly and whether or not this is a problem, right? So there are people who are upset that this is a man speaking about a woman in this way. There are people who are saying he's justified in speaking about her this way because she ruined his hard work and punched his friend in the face, chipped his tooth and messed up his face. And so... My question to both of you is, <sighs> what should the response here be? Like, is he justified in his anger? Um, and his, is he justified in speaking the way he did about Krishan? Why or why not? Petty. You're muted. My answer All depends right. on, is my mic fine? Yeah, I mean, it has this little thing at the back at the random times, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. So my answer to that depends on your answer to the question, uh, does someone's behavior deny them the right to an afforded protection that we give to um, people generally? You can lose the right to certain kinds of protection depending on your behavior, yes. Like, I'm not about to defense an abuser. Okay, well, I feel like that answers that. Sin7, welcome to the membership. I thought you were a member already, but welcome. Go ahead. Does he have, like, wait, Patty, were you were about to say something. I nope. feel like y'all don't want to give your opinion. Uh, Petty don't want to give his opinion on this, and I don't know why. Oh, you know, I'm a uh, Krishan stan. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm Ray Charles to it. I have no idea what's going on. What did she do? I didn't see it. No, I do actually want opinions on this. Uh, I think... I don't know. Are you asking me, do I think what he did is morally wrong? Do you think he is justified in what he just said? When you say justified, I'm thinking, is there a reasonable explanation for why he did what he did? I can think of one, yes, which would be what you said. His friend was attacked. Um, so, yeah, I think he's justified. But he called her out of her name and all of that. Do you think that is a bit too far, not too far? Um, well, Annalisa's method has grown on me. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, if you, if you don't want to be in this protected community um, and behave in the way which we require to be in this protected community, then the drag now applies to you. So... So I, all right, the only person getting empathy the, this week is Usher. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. 
I don't understand why it is that people are afraid to speak up against Krishan. I don't understand that. Is that like a common? Yes. Is it something that you notice? Mm -hmm. Like black, protect black women. I'm like, yes, but you don't engage in that kind of behavior and expect everyone to get behind you. You don't get to punch someone in the face for saying that you weren't supposed to perform after you ask them and we are supposed to sit around and pretend like what? Um, I think maybe because, you know, when you asked Petty that question, I was preparing my answer. Right, I don't yeah. think that, I mean, I wouldn't have responded the way he did just because I don't speak like that's not my style. Um, but I understand him being upset is definitely justifiable to me um, based on the behaviors that you know, I guess we saw or were described that she was doing there. Um, I don't know why she would be to the point of like assaulting someone because um, she couldn't perform. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Like that's not justifiable. Like even if you were supposed to perform, you were, you had a contract. I still wouldn't think it was justifiable to assault someone because you ended up not being able to perform. So like, that's not justifiable at all. Um, so, so the other guy that was upset about it, I understand him being upset because like, they weren't trying to have that whole situation happen there. Um, I wouldn't have spoken the way that he did, but I get why he was upset. The, and I didn't realize Krishan was a person that people didn't, I thought, I, I think I hear, don't people talk about her all the time? Yeah, but there is this thing where they're like, oh, he's a man attacking a woman. And it's like, mm, she punched a man in his face. He did not retaliate. Um, and his friend is upset about what he did to his friend. Now, I think what the man did was, the, the guy we just watched, is unprofessional. Yeah. Because y'all would be real mad at me because he would, she would be under the jail. <laughs> like I'm not being, I'm not coming online yelling and I don't think it's right. It, I don't think it gives you permission to call people out of their names. Yeah. So like, I don't agree with that, but it does give permission to take her, punish her to the fullest extent of the law. Yeah. Like, I am coming for everything you have. <laughs> what do you mean? I agree. So, like, I probably wouldn't have even responded with a video. I would have just yeah. taken the legal action necessary. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree with you. All right. So let's hear what the person who got hit had to say. Like, you know, like, all the assumptions of how people feel and what people think they know I'm at the point right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed, and that's what's happening right now. So don't get online saying what didn't happen, it didn't happen. And no, I'm not going to show my face. My face is beat. If you guys see my face, you can be pissed off. My face is, it's toe up. So right now, I have to get teeth fixed. Um, I'm not going to show my face, but I will show that I'm at the dentist right now. Right now. Like I said, I'm getting my teeth fixed. I was attacked for no reason. The anger of the anger or whatever the issue was wasn't towards me. So that's why I'm saying I was attacked for no reason. Yes, I know I don't owe anyone anything, but enough with the blaming everybody else but the person that did this. So that's what happened. And this is why I think Tamar should have never invited Krishan to this. It's clear that there's the disconnect like people in Tamar's age group don't know Krishan for being an artist they know her for being on reality TV and they know her for her drama with Blueface but they don't know that she's actually an artist and I can understand why she would think that she was invited to perform but she wasn't invited for that reason I think Tamar just wanted to meet her and she wanted to create a moment with her on stage I also think it was for point and it's not that in her show and more people will want to come out and buy tickets and see it so tamar attempted to create a moment with krishan but the moment backfired completely now krishan did respond to the allegations and of course she didn't take any accountability I don't for those of you in the chat who said y'all wanted more context this is krishan's explanation of 
I can't. This is Quishan's explanation of what happened. Because, okay, girl, period. I don't know what was miscommunicated or what was plotted against me, but I was supposed to perform. Usually when I get invited out to perform at a show, I let you say, like, oh, yeah, okay, you're going to perform after this set, blah, blah, like Sexy Red, Glorilla, like, not like that, but I've been brought out before, and I know how it goes a certain way. Um, I did have my team there, uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff, so, uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was alive. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting, just waiting until, I don't know, it was time to work, you know, so... That's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened. She did that. I don't know what that I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So um it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh it was some other sh like the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together, he didn't put anything together and I never talked to him. Um I directly talked to Tamar. She communicated that I could come out and that was that uh i don't know who that, that guy is because i never talked to him the guy that guy that he's not gay but he like whatever he like boys him i don't know how you say i don't want to be rude like because i'm not honest but no nah, it was nothing between me and tamar i had nothing to do with any of that but i don't know who's i don't know it was just like wicked stuff started happening and then i don't know and then i let that go i went i think i went to a party went back home to my kid but like i don't I have fun. Now, LaTroy did react to Krishan. Did y'all get any context? You Whatever heard the lady. Said, did, she did. You heard the lady. What Wait, so is he it? saying... I mean, is she saying that... She, she said nothing. She said nothing at all. I'm... <laughs> she said nothing. She said nothing. Like, you cannot sit up here and justify this kind of behavior. This is wrong. This is wrong. Yeah. You don't put your hands on people. She just yeah. gave a full and thorough explanation. And after it, you were like, she said nothing, though. Like, she just explained it. What left. did she explain? I can't improve upon perfection. Yeah, this I don't... It's an abuser. The money and the fame is amplifying really bad behaviors. Like the kind of entitlement one must feel to punch someone in the face because they didn't get to have their way, i.e. perform, is a problem. Like you yeah. don't sit up there and hit people. Hey, island girl, welcome. She lying, she needs the help, period. She said nothing. Yeah, whatever they said she did, Unless there is evidence that she didn't, she did it. Whatever they said she did, she did it. That is my opinion. Why? Okay, so um, I'm confused about how her and Tamar like became people that were. They don't I know don't each know. other. They don't know each other at all. So what was the... Um, She's famous. She she's having a, a performance. So she's like, okay, you're famous. You're messy. Krishan, come to my show. We'll get eyes on me. That's what it was. And I don't care what Jamar says. Hmm. So she was thinking, like, you know, this girl is getting talked about a lot recently. We'll have her on and maybe it can boost ratings or yeah. whatever. Okay. And these people are going back and forth. Who does what? Krishan hit someone in the face. What are we doing here? Like, where's the charges? Where's the police? She should be locked up. People are like, oh, don't lock her up. She's a woman. She has children. Don't hit people. Like, I don't understand what's difficult about that. Yeah. Yeah. And he's needing, like, dental work and medical attention. Yeah, that's... Oh, I also sue her for everything. Like you need to pay all them bills and for emotional distress. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, that's that makes absolutely no sense. And like I said before, there's literally no reason that there's no explanation for why it would be okay to hit someone <laughs> in that situation. Like there is not anything anyone could say. Um, no.
Mm-hmm. Add him our paperwork plus communication all year for a period. Uh, power reveals absolutely who you are. Yeah. She got fame, money, and this is what she does with it. So she's saying this guy did not put it together, which I don't know why you would make such a claim when he is going to be able to prove it. I also don't know why this man is online trying to prove that he put the show together. I don't know why they're going back and forth online with what should be a legal matter. This should be a very straight up legal matter. She should be going to jail at some point for assault. And you should also be suing her in civil court for money. Like, I don't, I, the, the, this going back and forth is ridiculous. Like, I don't know who, who shot the loudest online is useless. Just do what you need to do legally. Yeah, I agree. I'm saying that she never spoke to him. Latroy actually was in contact with somebody from Krishan's team. And in the text, you could see that it was clear that she was invited, but it was never confirmed that she was actually going to perform. Now, I will say I do understand Krishan's perspective in thinking that she was invited to perform. I don't think it was really communicated to her clearly that she wouldn't perform. She was just invited to make an appearance. So also completely disagree. You can be you cannot have an expectation that you're going to perform where you don't have anything. Literally, you do not have anything in writing that you're going to perform. You don't have uh, an amount you're getting paid for the performance. You don't have a set. You don't know a lineup. How do you think you are going to perform? Or is it just one of those backyard performances where you just show up and grab the mic and go, give me a beat? Like, was that what she was trying to explain in the car? Like when she said, kept saying she knows how it goes or whatever. And yes. she, yes. I don't, I still don't understand because. <clears throat> why would you think you're performing just because you were invited if no one said you were performing? I, like no just because you were invited. Artist. And the fact that you think people know you as an artist is kind of like disrespectful to me. <laughs> like you don't you're, you're playing in my face. You don't off the top of your head, what's your favorite Krishan rock song? Mine is vibe. See, I didn't even know a Krishan song until you just said vibe. And I remember hearing that annoying song. You're going to act like you didn't hear baby father drama? Nope. Never heard of that. Don't okay. know her. Well. Krishan Rock is worse than Blueface, which is why I get annoyed when people defend her and blame her actions on others. Yeah, even in this chat, I saw a comment talking about I need full context. Please give me the full context because Krishan didn't say anything. Krishan all but confirmed that she did everything they said she did. Talking about she had fun. I'm sure you did punching someone in the face when they didn't do anything to you and also didn't retaliate. I hope you have fun in handcuffs and when you're getting sued to pay all the bills and for mental distress. Like, what do you mean? What was the... So that video that we watched was her explanation. Like that was the only one. So yeah, yeah. that was it. Um, yeah. Cause I'm like, is she denying that it happened? Is she just not saying anything? Is she saying that something else happened first? Like, or that was the explanation. The one that we saw. Yeah, that was, that was the explanation. Well, the explanation. Then I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't understand then. Oh, um, thank you, Sinji, by the way. She could be ashamed to to speak up. She could be scared to speak up about what really happened. Girl, I'm not doing this with you tonight. Tamar and Krishan met at Zeus. <laughs> this is such a ghetto sentence. <laughs> <laughs> such a <good> sentence. <laughs> Tamar and Krishan Rock met at Zeus. I thought they were friends. Well, uh, Tamar is about to say she 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 Tamar going to explain. And to suggest that any Braxton is cloud chasing is insane. The Braxtons are invite uh invited into spaces that Krishan could couldn't even walk. Past. Yeah. And people are mad because um Tony Braxton gave her the side eye. People are like, oh my God, but you're dating Birdman. It's Tony Braxton. It is the Tony Braxton gets to look down on people. I don't but, care um, what you say. I do not care Tony, what you say. Does Tony um I'm not familiar with the Braxtons? Does she have a show on Tubi? 
you need okay. to stop. So that since we're talking legend. about people, people who aren't in the same room, I need them to get a show on Tubi before they quote unquote talk down on Christian. That's what I need them to do. What does her date in Birdman? Did Birdman do something that I don't know about? Like, what does Girl, her Birdman dating Birdman, Birdman, Birdman have to do? Girl, that Birdman is Birdman. Dating Birdman is a mess. <laughs> that that is wild. Saying your partner is Birdman is wild. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe there was like something else. Because... It don't matter. <laughs> oh, you're just saying just that in and of it. My my That's boyfriend it. is Birdman is a wild statement. <laughs> Wait, what did Birdman do? Like, I see the comments. People are like, "Oh, Birdman, what did Birdman do?" I mean, outside I, feel like of I don't kissing, know something. Outside of kissing Little Wayne, I refuse oh. to call um Brian I mean, Williams. Um, I refuse to call Brian Williams Birdman. We are grown. <laughs> Come in my house and tell me I'm Birdman. That don't make sense to me. Anywho, well, thanks. Does, then. A, does uh, Birdman have a show on TV? Mm. Yes, he does. Oh yeah, Birdman. You know, I haven't thought about Birdman like in a very long. I mean, I guess I saw that he was dating Tony Braxton, but y'all didn't like like what happened to that? Mm. I don't. I don't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> right now, justice for Kiki Usher James only. Look, we're gonna get into Kiki because this is why you don't date the bus driver or the person who can only pay the light bill. Um, I'm kidding. You should date whoever you want. Love is love. That was too far. I wish I withdraw everything that I just said. All right. <clears throat> Krishan Walk name means nothing in the industry. Meanwhile, the Braxtons, Tony, are icons. Krishan is only liked among who? <laughs> I disagree. Ah! But... What do you disagree with? I think Christian is well liked, not just amongst hood uh, hood rats. So that's all I disagree with as far as that statement. All right, girl. We don't that her name means nothing, of course. I mean, Tony Braxton thought it meant something. Invited her on stage for clout. So Tony, not Tony. Tony did not invite that woman anywhere. Mm. Okay, so we're not holding Tony accountable. Accountable like, for what? We all Tony accountable for. Yeah. Uh, she was trying to clout chase, and she, while we can't hold her fully accountable, the domino that the, the pebble, the butterfly effect, where you kill a butterfly and across the world a tsunami happens. Um, we can't ignore the person who killed the butterfly. All right, girl, I'm not doing this with you. I promise, <laughs> I'm not doing this with you tonight. Here you go. Tamar said she wanted Krishan to come and do a twerk off, which didn't make no sense to me. Tam Tamar have a certain crowd, so it didn't add up to me. I don't know why she invited her. She, I don't know. I don't know what Tamar is doing. Tamar is doing Tamar. Beautiful vo voice, though. Beautiful voice. Did Thank Tamar? Did Tamar like explain this at all? Yeah, she comes out. I'll play her video in a moment um, because she come out crying about, oh, my God, I feel bad for Krishan. Girl, feel bad for your backup singers. Feel bad for your employees. Do that. Worried about uh, 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 Krishan. Why does she feel bad for Krishan? We will hear it in a moment because he, she, she, oh, my God. I, do, I you just, think, do you think people are like, do you think that people infantilize Krishan and are like, oh, because she, I don't know, she's an adult. But like, it, sometimes when people say stuff, I feel like they are looking at her like she is just like someone that is incapable of behaving. Like they feel sorry for her. Do you think that people do that? I think people relate to Krishan and that's the problem. So we think Krishan is an adult at 23, like grown, grown adult. Like, Girl, I'm not doing this with you. I'm just she saying. She was grown enough to drag women and beat them, fight them on TV shows, fighting men. Like, she's grown enough to be hitting people and, and trying to get away with it. 
Is it possible? I did read something as far as um drinking and smoking in large amounts can stunt your growth. Then Just maybe her growth is stunted, but that's not anyone's problem. She needs to fix that. Ain't nobody about to sit here and watch Krishan get vo physically violent with people and make excuses for that. We need to stop. It needs to stop. Like we like the people who defend her are like a very specific group that I don't fully understand. There's no reason to defend Krishan. What is the defense? Like, what What do people say? We don't know context. Leave oh. her alone. She's a young woman coming into her own. We all make mistakes. Girl, no, we don't all make those kinds of mistakes. We do not. Wait, were the people in her face? Even if they didn't physically touch her? Okay, can you remove Prince Betty, please? <laughs> That's a that's a real question because that provides me with a new level of understanding. If no, she were... went into their face, yelling in their faces. Were they smoking? No, and okay. we're not doing this. Tony was in, Tony was insulted by the mere fact that Krishan was in the same room as. <laughs> Girl, that is the same thing I thought. Holly was out here being in the same room with talking about their um double dating. I was like, ugh, if it's a problem, DDG, DVD. If Krishan and I were in the same room, I would feel unsafe. I would. Nikara says two truths. One, he's right in his anger. Two, he's wrong for his misogyny. If his misogyny is justified due to his emotion, then we're essentially saying Erica Mena was also justified. See, I feel like every episode we go back to this concept of is it okay to be problematic if someone else does something problematic? Remember we talked about that last week? Yeah. Um, like, you know, using certain slurs or whatever um if they are what's going to hit someone where it hurts um and i feel like people change their opinion on this sometimes depending on who or what so i guess that's the question again i don't like i said in the beginning i don't think that he um responded in a way that I, he did not respond in a way that i would have um i probably wouldn't have even responded i would have just contacted the local authorities but he probably did that too but still i don't know i mean well, he said he did it my very consistent uh stance is fight fire with fire um if someone is using a uh unfair tactic against you and you're playing fair i don't think you're going to win so maybe maybe we should uh fight fire with fire sometimes mm -hmm. The descriptor of her, well, let me, so thank you, Nakaris, uh, Drakaris. Um, and so was I. Yeah, I was annoyed. I was very much, I'm assuming that's when you said it. Quishan Walk is to reality TV what Cardi is to rap. Bring back New York and her mom like my ratchet with standards. Period. I saw New York on this show called Villain House. I don't watch the show. I just saw a clip. And the way she read Amorosa, uh, I just, <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that clip, I know y'all haven't seen that clip. If y'all haven't seen that clip, y'all need to go look at it. She dragged Amorosa for filth. Quishan is overdue legal consequences. Overdue at 23, you know well enough not to touch others and emotionally regulate. Be self-accountable for, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she, if she does not face some consequences, it's going to get worse. Like, she needs to be stopped. She needs to be stopped. And, and it's ridiculous at this point that anyone, I think it bothers me more than anything that she does have um, supporters. Light skin privilege. If she was darker, they would be calling her a hood. Um, yeah. All right. Let's continue. <clears throat> Well, I do understand where Krishan is coming from in that aspect, but it still doesn't give her a right to get mad and sucker punch somebody all because she didn't get to do what she wanted to do. And see, this is the problem with Krishan. She goes around causing chaos and acting reckless and attacking people. And at this point, it's tired. I don't think Krishan is going to truly learn from her behavior unless she faces some serious repercussions. She has been allowed to get away with a lot, but at this point, she really needs to be held accountable. 
did address the situation and she was silent for a little bit and she was called out for her silence. In fact, her collaborator, LaTroy, was calling her out as well. He was really upset that Tamar wasn't saying anything. And I saw him post subs on his IG story saying, people always want to say, stop giving things attention. But when it happens to them, they want to throw a whole press conference. So it's clear that he was probably shading Tamar, but Tamar did finally speak out. Um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that's why you didn't want to speak out. Because you speak out about everything else. But you didn't speak out about inviting someone who punched your employee in the face. You are coming out now after being dragged by people, rightfully so, that your silence is really weird. So you're sitting up there talking about, oh, I wasn't going to come forward because of his trauma. Were you speaking with him? Were you, were you there for him? Why did him and James and the other guy who came out believe that you were just being quiet and you weren't really showing real support? Why were they dragging you publicly if you were in communications with communication with them. I, this is ridiculous. This is you now coming out trying to do some kind of PR cover up after being quiet about an issue. Your morality should have kicked in as soon as your friend slash backup slinger slash employee got punched in the face by a woman you brought to your concert. You should have spoken up. Yes. Why do you think she didn't? Because she wanted it to all blow over. She didn't want to have to take side. She didn't want to have to go against Krishan publicly. That's why. Because and it might get some, like she might get Krishan supporters against her or something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I think she wants to, like the the, the young girls like Krishan, for some reason she is courting them. I, I don't know why. I was about to say, are they even in the same, like, no. Do they have no. the same audience, I no. guess? You could say? No, no. Hmm. Tamar like to pretend that she's some one of the girls that does that, but she, she's not. She really <clears throat> isn't. Someone said, Tima, she had lost her voice. Nope. She didn't come up here and say, oh, I lost my voice and I couldn't speak. She came up and said, out of respect for the person who got punched in the face, I didn't come out to support them. That don't make no sense. It does not, you like, if she had come out, it would be better if she came out and said, I lost my voice, I couldn't talk, now I can talk. I wouldn't feel as insulted as I didn't come out and talk on behalf of my friend who got punched in the face out of respect for them. No, they definitely want to see your support publicly. And you knew that. You are not, these are friends, let me leave that alone. Tim, I would be getting legal papers for, oh yeah, oh yes, everyone getting legal papers, there's absolutely no way you're going to sit up there, and then, I'll let this finish, I'm very annoyed by this, I'm annoyed when, and this is a serious thing, there are people who, if you have more power, if you have more resources than their friend, they will step over their friend to appease you, even if you're harming their friend, the friend that they're supposed to be there for and supporting. That is ridiculous to me. That is a social climber in the worst way possible. And I'm not putting this all on Tamar because I truly don't know why it is that she decided that she wasn't going to speak up initially. But what I believe she did was she was trying to figure out the best way to not have to go against Krishan publicly. That is a problem for me. Stand on principle. I can't trust you. I would be upset if my friend didn't speak. Yeah. Particularly if my friends speak up again about everything else. Like if I'm friends with Beyonce and someone did something to me and she didn't speak up, I would understand. Tamar is always online talking about everything. How, why are you gone now? No. I want to know what explanation she's going to get. Yeah. And it was my question, but um, there was a lot of events that 
I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't, I don't need that. Like my circle is this small, you know, I um, don't have to sell tickets for, you know, like, oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other, this show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited. Someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know. She's right. Now, she might be maturing. She might be maturing, but nothing about Tamar said she wants a little sister. Everything about Tamar said she is the little sister. But that's neither here nor there. What about Krishan made you think she was your little sister? I need that explained. Now, and that's, this is not a drag or anything. I just want Tamar to explain to me what specifically about Krishan highlighted that yeah that's my younger sister right there that's that's the one does tamar have sisters yeah <laughs> younger older i'm not but... doing this with you krisha going to tamar concert is like the baby going to whitney Houston concert for a cameo. <laughs> 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 I don't know why this is funny. I really don't know why this is funny. All right, go ahead. Ask your question. People are saying I'm being mean to you while they don't realize you're trolling me up here. So go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, no, if Krishan is reminiscent of her other sister, um, maybe maybe she sees something in Krishan that she sees in her sisters. I want to know what that is. One of her sister have a Canadian accent. Let me leave it alone. I don't know where she got that Canadian Was <laughs> it Trina? Uh, who was it? No, it's not Tawanda. I think it's Trina. Trina has a fake uh, Canadian accent. I don't know if it's fake, but I don't know where she got that Canadian accent from. Period. All right, let's continue. I miss Tracy. All right, let me go. Everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry. I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. I'm mean, like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help. Wanna... Let me be clear. Christian does not, there is nothing about Christian that indicate that she's a little sister to me. I feel no way. I, I do not feel connected to Christian in any way possible at all. The only thing we share is identity and blackness. Maybe I'm assuming she's black. Don't know. But I'm not about to sit here and say she's like a little sister to me. Absolutely not. Just putting that out there. Talking about we are all seeing her as a little sister. No, she is mean and she is very harmful to other people. That's what I see. A very harmful young woman. And help, and this is what this love and war tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora, I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I don't. I didn't know any of them. Really, the only person that I knew was Nivea. You know, um, but I wanted this tour to be about you know second chances and you know giving new opportunities. And um, I don't know. Um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me, uh, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion, right? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool if you if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people you know Baltimore sisters. And that's really what I was thinking. Um, everyone else. Okay, so you told her she was going to perform. 
You told her that the DJ was going to play It's a Vibe, which is her song, I, CC Petty, telling us that It's a Vibe is a Krishan song, and me remembering that, yeah, I heard that foolishness once. And so you told her the DJ was going to play that, and she was going to come on stage and, and, and twerk. Yeah, you told her she was going to perform. She heard, in her mind, you know my song, and you want me to perform my song for you. That's what she heard. So Tamar couldn't call no money a cooking <laughs> <laughs> they were booked. She said she didn't know who Tiffany Evans is, and she th she had a promise ring. But go off. You know, um, get compensated for. You know, show was opening up for me. I try to always do this, do the right thing. Were you uh, someone start talking? I heard. Yeah. Something. So I'm just trying to put the pieces together. You know, um, <laughs> there was supposed to be a twerk off. Like that was supposed to happen. Girl, I have yeah, no problem. Like, two seconds. Two seconds later, she was going to be like, "Oh, this was just a super family friendly event." There's a delay. I'm, I'm confused. So there was supposed to be a twerk off for the little sister you're taking under your wing, and the way to like guide her. It just doesn't make sense. I'm the. I don't know. Well, it's Maybe a Tamar. I'm... It's a Tamar concert. So stop calling her name Tamar. How do you Tamar. pronounce it? Tamar. It's a Tamar concert. So a twerk off was to be expected. That's what I'm wondering. Like, y'all said she was high quality. So I was. No one said Just... anything about high quality. We said they were different, but apparently uh, they were there to twerk. Is Next Tamar's time. vibe typically twerking? I mean, if it is, cool, but I just didn't think it was. Yeah, yeah definitely. Go listen to Love and War. <laughs> and that's a definitely a twerking. Tamar, I don't know. Tamar, I don't know what Tamar is doing. It don't matter. Because but if that's like her brand, then that's like the it's type not of her stuff. brand. It's not. It's not her brand. Oh. <clears throat> She's making things up. But she... Hey, I like people... Do. Um, and there's a contract. Um, we're professional. I'm a real touring company. Um, and that wasn't the case. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Um, and everybody that's come to a Tay Marshall show know that we don't have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry. People have passed out, you know. Due to you know being you know inebriated or you know just excited at being at a concert, but this is a a, a safe, loving, healing place, and um, I don't know. I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you, um, and I also want to that right there. Ain't no way you're about to sit up there and tell me that, oh, the reason I didn't speak up about this is because I wanted to respect what the trauma that my, my friend went to, that James went through. Also, apologies to my team if you felt like my silence was like me not supporting you. They should have known this. You should have asked. You shouldn't have guessed that they didn't want you to speak up. You should have asked them what they would want from you in the situation. Like, you're not fooling anyone, Tamar. You didn't want to take the heat from going public against this woman. That's what it is. And I don't know why anyone is afraid of Krishan. Get her secured and keep her six feet. Like, what do you mean? Absolutely not. Give me a hundred yard. We don't, we shouldn't be in the same room. From... From the L and W uh, Love and War tour stops so far, she's had an intermission or segment with a twerk off. Okay, period. So she's supposed to have a twerk off then. Still shouldn't okay, be punching so that, people in the face. Now it's becoming more clear. I was just a little confused at first, but if okay, I get it. I guess. To acknowledge Krishan, thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know. I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't, I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized and especially James. 
He was assaulted. He was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish he would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that, you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for height. For height no, no one. I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that <coughs> people <coughs> come into this industry and, you know, they get a certain amount of stardom or fame. They feel like, oh, what does this person want with me? What does this person want with me? And there are some genuine people. Um, but, um, I, I'm doing this video for, for my staff and for my team who believed in me and who has helped supported me, Troy, especially, you know, who has been the most passionate about this and he should have, you know, um, he's my partner and, you know, watching, you know, someone so close to us, you know, get so violated is traumatizing. And, um, I, I really honestly, truly wish none of this happened. Um, we are still doing part two. Um, like I said before, we don't fight at our concerts. We don't, we don't even, everybody who has gone has had a lovely, fun family setting and time. And um, I don't know, I, it, it's just unfortunate. And let me just tell you how amazing James is. Like, no matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he's like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like, Theme is your face. I don't. I want to believe that she cares. I, I, I don't believe it. I she didn't sell it to me. I was not. I didn't buy any of it. So I don't buy it. Not even on sale. I I don't. I don't like. I don't appreciate someone coming out, and it feels like she's trying to coddle Krishan. The entire time. And I'm not saying you need to drag anyone. You can still be professional, but make clear that you stand firmly with your employees who have been traumatized by this woman that you invited. When you sit up there and say, I wish you had hit me instead. Why? Why? Would it be better if she'd hit you? No, it wouldn't have. It would. She shouldn't have been hitting anyone. Right. I was going to say, why not? Like, why not just acknowledge that she shouldn't have been hitting anybody? That was that part. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. But if you're at a funeral and the mom is like, it should have been me. Are you like, um, actually, that's not logical. What you should be wishing for is that no one died at all. Like, I feel like I understand what she's saying. No, I don't understand what she's saying. It should have been me. I didn't. I don't want. I love that person so much. I don't want them to have gone through you that. You love them so much. It took you a whole almost a week before you come out and defend them. I didn't want to reignite their trauma, but now it's been pressing on Why, didn't you, everyone. Ask them? Why didn't you ask them? Why did they think you were silent? Uh, they, 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 they name drop silent? Why did they come out against you for being silent? I did didn't know they so much. Huh? I didn't know they name dropped her. They definitely talked about her, and she, in this response, pointed out that she her silence wasn't about um, not wanting to pick sides. That's what they accused her of? Yes. And th so that's why she was forced out to talk. And now she come give this half-hearted foolishness, an apology to her team and to Krishan. I don't know why she apologizing to Krishan, actually. I mean, it might be a possible legal issue. Her team could have, you know, instructed her to then say... Then don't come out. Mm -hmm. If your legal, your legal team is involved, why are you out here? Talk they might have cleared, they might have cleared her. They didn't clear that. Ain't nobody cleared that. Oh, Ain't no know. lawyer cleared that. If we there's a lawyer who cleared that, I would want to talk to them. No lawyer cleared that because right now I would be suing her too. We can only speculate. Well, they must have had Tasha K. Law. Speculate. <laughs> Girl, they must have, she must have Tasha K. Lawyer if they cleared that. I just noticed you have Halloween stuff up. What about it? I just <laughs> noticed it. Fall stuff. Poor James went to work and will be walking away with a bag. 
All right, so y'all have nothing more. Petty will continue to troll. Got it. I think y'all just can't engage with my thoughts, so it's easier for you. Instead of doing the rigorous activity of thinking critically, it's easier for you to just call it trolling. All right, go ahead. Give us your breakdown of what happened, please. I can't break down... Um. I can't break down something that's already at its most simple form. That's the first uh, thing we learn in science. Explain it to us. Um, I don't have that ability. Unfortunately, I can't teach. Because we look like jokes to you. No, I still have room to grow, so I can't like teach yet. Um, I hope I'm able to someday. All right. Well, let me know when that day comes. Um, so right now I'm not buying anything Tamar is selling. I'm tired of Tamar always online just making just adding fuel to fire, not never actually really doing anything. Um, she said she was on this growth journey. I'm waiting to see said growth because I think Tamar could easily, I don't know if she can still, but could have easily been one of world greatest R and B uh artists. And I don't know why she just decided I'm good, but or maybe the industry chose everyone else over her. I don't know, but girl can sing. Are we ready to move on now? That's the transition. Yeah. Have you guys been keeping up with Kiki? I just saw her on social media today for... Um... I think I saw someone saying that there were leaked conversations about her being abusive. I don't know. I think that's what I saw on as I was scrolling. I didn't even stop to read it. Is that the thing? <laughs> I'm laughing. There's nothing funny about this. I'm just I I, the, I just saw something, and I let me show you before we get into Kiki because we need a refresh. I did. I was not pulling this up. This has nothing to do with it. But you know something I really hate? I Usher catching strays, girl. <laughs> Geeky mother says Usher gay <laughs> in, a leaked, <laughs> in a leaked phone call. And for the life of me, I feel bad for Usher. I feel bad. But I don't... I know the mom wasn't trying to out Usher or anything like that. Um, the mom was trying to say that the Darius didn't have to worry about Usher and Kiki because Usher was not into women. I mean, allegedly, the mom came out and apologized and said that was not true. But, okay, girl, period. Anywho, before we get to Kiki Palmer, you know what I hate? I hate when someone is minding their business, not bothering anyone, and... Because of comments made by some third party, you decided to drag the person who did nothing to you. Like someone is like, oh, this person is better than you. Are you like this person? Are you stole from this person? And the person they're claiming you took something from that is better than you didn't say anything to you. And you use the opportunity to drag that person for no reason. This is what I believe Lady Gaga did. Um, and then... <laughs> What Storm said, Wonder Bread News. I don't like that phrase, so I'm not going to use it. But I just saw this, and I, I, I thought it was funny to hear this. Listen to this. Storm and I are very different. Mm. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> she's a, a, you know, a nice lady. And she's had a fantastic, huge career. She's the biggest pop star of all time. Mm -hmm. um, but I play a lot of instruments. I write all my own music. I spend hours and hours a day in the studio. I'm a producer, I'm a writer. What I do is different. I'm not uh, just rehearsing over and over again to put on a, a show. There is a spontaneity in my work. I allow myself to fail. Mm -hmm. I allow myself to break. I'm not afraid of my flaws. There are major differences between me and her. And um, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Yeah. I just will not be compared to anyone anymore. I am who the I am. And this is me. You know, this my, my life story is my life story, just like yours is. Mm -hmm. 
this is the most passive aggressive drag I've ever. <laughs> this is the most passive aggressive drag I've ever seen. People comparing you to Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga to Madonna. All you have to say is, "No, I don't think we're the same." Move on. Why are you going to be like, "I play instruments, I write, I produce, I don't just sit and rehearse to go perform. I actually am an artist." <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was um, tripping as soon as she said Madonna was the biggest pop star of all time because Justin Bieber is, exists and still yeah, girl, exists. I'm not doing this with you the thing is I hate when people under downplay the people before them because it's like girl you would not be here you would not you would not be here without a Madonna girl don't do that you can yeah. drag her for her vocals you can drag her for not being able to sing, you can drag her for not being able to find the right key, never being on on pitch, never hitting the right note, being flat, always being flat, being sharp, falling downstairs. You can drag her. <laughs> Wait, are you dragging her right now? Like, like <laughs> oh, that went on for too long, Seamus. You were doing it, yeah. Um, <laughs> I like Madonna. I think that. Um, I mean, maybe there's some backstory. I don't know that made Gaga like feel a way about Madonna, but maybe that's the case. But um, if she was just saying that for no reason, I think it was a little bit like it was a little too much, in my opinion. Of course, she can do whatever she wants, but Madonna is an icon, you know. Yeah. She kind of paved the way for that type of. Um, artist that Gaga is today and she yeah. actually has like a song that sounds just like a Madonna song she has boring. a whole career that sounds like a Madonna career what do you mean <laughs> her whole career is a Madonna copycat like you need to see, you need to humbly yeah people need to humble themselves <laughs> I think people do need to humble themselves because girl ain't no reason for you to like Madonna is not the best vocalist but, like, for you to up, be up here and pretend like you didn't just take her whole swag, like, girl, no. Also, I do like what Gaga tries to be, but, like, you're not even there. So, so, so stop. Poor James went yeah. to work and will be walking. Oh, I read this. Uh, she said, I am Nikki and Madonna is Kim. <laughs> oh... An excerpt from her memoir, completely out of context. Oh, I despise people are so hell-bent on trying to make Darius a post-battered, dusty victim. Look, let me get to Darius. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Madonna is Aaliyah, so she has no problem dragging Gaga. Gaga is an Aries, so she loves to respond, I'm sure. I don't... This is passive aggression. If you don't like Madonna, say it. If you don't like someone, say, don't be up here like, oh my God, she's an icon, but go on to like drag her. That woman said nothing about you, absolutely nothing about you. The comparison being made is not made for that person. It's like someone like, they made me do it. I'm going to go ahead and drag this person and curse this person out because other people said something about that. Like, what? Like, have some self-regulation. You sound like an abuser. Anywho, let, but as we're talking about abuser, let's get to Darius. So Kiki filed for sole custody and a restraining order against her baby father, Darius. Um, this, now, this saga has been going on online for forever. I'm very much annoyed by it. I wanted to play an old video from three, four months ago where I talked about how Darius was seemingly an abuser because of a tweet he put out defending abuse and blaming women for their own abuse. But I decided not to be petty. Instead of playing it, I would just say it. Um, so there is that. There are leaked videos. There are leaked pictures of Darius manhandling Kiki. Um, there are audio messages of Kiki's mom rightfully lashing out at Darius. There, um, there are text messages between Darius' mother, who just is an enabler, if I've ever seen one, um, and Kiki's mother going back and forth. And I found a video, my Discord found a video that they said is the best way to 
watch yeah. and review what is happening. This is a problem for me because Kiki is extremely private. We haven't seen an unproblematic, right? Outside of her, like for Chris Brown, which I don't understand why her and um, Kelly Rowland hang their hat on the Chris Brown. Like, I, I don't get it. But she's generally not problematic. And so to see all of this happen to her, to see the video of him just wrestling her and hitting her and dragging her, and then to see his mother defend him and for them to be posting audio of recordings from private conversations to try to prove, I guess, their innocence. This does not make sense to me. Oh, by the way, thank you to Els. Um, check out Sin's Patreon. Um, this is the link to Sin's Patreon. She's on Patreon. Um, and she does put videos up over there. Um, pretty excited to talk to her at some point on the channel or see her soon. But I... Please thank you to Elsa and please keep dropping her link in the in the chat. <clears throat> so before we continue, do you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns? Are you gonna you know? play um oh no, no questions yet? All right, let's get into the video then. Because I'm It's really sad, I think, that, like, someone who is so unproblematic, like, no one should go through this, but it's, like, it it's so problematic for me to see, like, this young woman having to struggle through this publicly. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, and the fun, not funny, haha, in the words of Kay, but funny, this is really annoying. Um, it's interesting to watch what's playing out where all of the BWE content creators essentially said this would happen or something like this would happen. Like every single one of the BWE content creators, every last one of them um, were on one accord when they talk about this. And I'm not going to specifically call women out in the manosphere. I have never done that really. So I'm not going to do it now, but I do find it particularly problematic, and I did want to address this. I find it problematic that all of those women who made videos talking about Kiki should go back home, this man posting um, messages on Twitter, embarrassing her or attempting to embarrass her for the way she was dressed at the Usher concert. The fact that so many women came out and defended that behavior where everyone was like, yo, this looks like abuse, maybe not physical abuse, but this seems abusive to try to turn the internet against the woman who you're supposed to quote unquote love and care for, for you to come out and publicly disparage her in the way that you did suggest something horrible about your character. And it's something that we should consider the fact that all these women came out and were like, no, these women just want you to be lonely. Go home to your man. He's a good man. He's not a thug. He's a good guy, blah, blah, blah. As I'm watching them say that, I do think it is time that we require from content creators to be able to come back and address certain things that they've said. Because it shouldn't be this easy to just say something, move on, and completely forget that you said it. Like, everyone knew this was a telltale sign of abuse. What he did online, the tweets he was making, the things he was, he was liking, was ridiculous. The one traditional thing he did, the one traditional thing he did was caught on the video footage at Kiki's home. That is the only traditional thing about him. And this is why I don't care about people talking about, oh, I'm a traditional man. Traditionally men have been toxic. So let's get into it. Wait, do you guys want to add anything? Sorry. No, let's watch the video. <clears throat> All right. So this is Jamie's coverage of it. The um, This squad wanted us to react to this. Let me speed it up. It's Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another conversation regarding Miss Kiki Palmer. 
what's happening with her baby. Making the video. If you have yet to um, subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Okay, so let me make sure we're good over here. Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, but I have not watched the video, so thanks for sharing. Um, I will check that out. Um, it seems like they're going to be giving an opinion that is a bit, I guess they say, unsar that this person mentioned. Okay, so what's going on, everybody? Come on into the room. Come on into the room. All right. Um, and yeah, later on that week, Kiki ended up filing a restraining order or whatever. All right. Um, we learned that she also got full custody of her child. She also was granted that uh, temporary restraining order. December 5th is the expected court date to find out what's actually going to happen with their situation. Um, as far as whether a permanent restraining order would need to be in place, Kiki provided screenshots from video of said incident with she and her uh, ex-boyfriend, Mr. Darius. Um, his brother went onto social media to call out somebody for being manipulative and abusive and all of this stuff, which I still believe he was referring to his brother. Her mom came out to social media to go off on Mr. Saronis Jackson, who is the brother of Darius, okay? Um, I guess because it's, he tried to paint it out like his brother is this horrible person, but you didn't know he was a horrible person because the mama tried to tell you that, but you didn't want to hear that, okay? So Darius, uh, not Darius, but Sarona said he ain't never tell her, you know, certain things or whatever. When she mentioned to him that your, your brother is abusing my daughter, he was like, okay, I used to do that too. It's like energy, okay? Um, kind of like very dismissive according to Miss Sharon. Then, of course, he denied that, and he says, oh, the world will hear your voice soon, is what he says about Miss um, Sharon. We have over 200 people in the chat being entertained, girl. You know how I feel about that. Uh, oh, no, no, their Kiki mom responded, and she was just like, uh, babe. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to play her entire video. I just want to play the part where she plays a video but from Armand something, Armand something, um, and it was a video recording of Kiki's mother. Um, and I think that's an important video. So that's what I'm looking for. So that right there. Um, thank you, Sandra, for that. I don't know why. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Hopefully it stops. Um, but that is what the mom said. Okay. So that's. It started getting the heat for it. Then it became, I don't believe Tori. So, okay, girl, like whichever one I want to do. But anywho. So, um, our mind came to the front and he uh, shared some of the video, not video, but pictures of the alleged marks that uh, Kiki put on to Darius, right? So, let me see if I can um, pull that up for y'all because this is uh, what he had, okay? Um, these are some of the scrapings and different things, you know, it looks like around his neck, his chest area, and his arm area, okay? And with this, people were trying to say that he was, that she was fighting him versus him fighting her. But let's go ahead and, and keep going because I believe that... I won't explain anything about like bruising because there are people who might not bruise easily, but like I, 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 I'm so sorry. I don't know what is being shown here. This is one of the questions I was going to ask you. For as dark as I am, if you if you grab me too hard, I can show you where um, you grab me. And I'm not saying he doesn't have anything on him, but like. I don't know what is being shown here. Does any, does any of you know what is being shown? Is it a bite, a scratch, a needle? Like, I don't know what, like, what is happening here? It looks like um, maybe some redness or some scratches. I don't know, but like what he, he said, so that's the headline that I saw then. He's claiming that she was abusive to him. Yeah, I don't know if that's what he's claiming, but I don't, I am trying to feel, so if this is not acne, I don't know what these are. Like, I don't know, like I'm so confused. It looks like scratches maybe, but like. Yeah, where, where? I'm not, I'm, I'm actually being serious, like. I do want to see where. Can you zoom in? I, I mean, yeah, maybe some scratches, but. Um, I'm not saying it's not there. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just trying to figure out what, like, where's the label? I need some label. I don't, I don't know what this is. Is this his proof that, like, is this, I, Hmm. Huh, um, 
But she said that he was abusive to her, right? We, no, we saw videos of him being abusive to her. We saw pictures of him being abusive to her. So now he's sending pictures of himself with what looks to be acne spots. Well, that if anything, that could... I mean, I don't know what No, happened, I'm not saying it is but... acne. I'm not saying it is, to be clear. I'm saying yeah. it looks like acne. This looks like acne. Yeah, this could, I mean, it doesn't look, it looks like if someone is hitting you as she, as the videos show, you know, I haven't seen those videos, but if that's the case, the person will probably try to defend themselves or like scratch you or push you away or whatever, right? Maybe this is that. I have no idea. Yeah, which but, would be defensive, like it, it was like. Self-defense would be what we, but like even in that scenario, I don't see. Like I, I am so sorry. I like I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. I don't see a mark that is like a fingernail or like a bruising. Like I don't. Where is it? Like I actually don't know where. Like it. Can you see? I think mark? above that building, like right under the letter W, that red yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah. that. Looks like a scratch. If I mean, I don't know, but it might. It might um, be. It might be. It might be. Actually, I don't know. But the I neck one, I don't see anything. I don't. I have no idea. And, and then so the, the arm one, one would be this. Yeah. Oh, is that why you asked? Oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah, the one on top of the building under the letter W looks like a um, scratch. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> this man is playing in our faces like we didn't see him dragging Kiki all across the room on the video yeah like if, if you're doing something like that to somebody you would expect that they're going to um, try to defend themselves or scratch you or whatever All right. Like, I'm hmm. not going to. All right, let's play. Someone said it looks like a reach. That was a caption that Armand put up. He said, there's multiple sides to the story. Now, I do not have a dog in this fight. However, I have received audio emails, text messages, and more showing that Kiki Palmer was attacking Darius. That's what I want to see, my love. I want to see the evidence you have that shows that she was attacking him I mean we might see that in the video right that she's going to drop as her evidence in December but I'm, I was just trying to I was hoping he went live because I wanted to see exactly what are the evidence and the details that you have where you say that you have all of these things and that she's attacking him that's just what I wanted to see he said she actually admitted out of her own mouth um, basically that um, she basically hit that she hit him and we'll listen to the audio and things that she put up. But what's killing me softly is even if she did put hands on him, to me, okay? And that may not be the intent, intent, but that's just how it looks to me. You're still excusing what he did to her. Or to me, making it appear as though what happened to her didn't happen because she did X, Y, and Z. You see what I'm saying? As if, and with no um, consideration or anything for this likely being defense wounds as to why she was coming at him. Most of the time when women are defending themselves against a person, they are going to go for the neck and they are going to go for the face. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's the quickest way to kind of like obstruct a person's view. You know what I'm saying? And distract them or whatever the case is. So to me, this ain't really telling me a whole lot of nothing. So if there is video where you feel, and, and I don't know if I think Armand should really release that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I feel like also they were kind of trying to use him, the Jacksons or whoever's on that team in my personal to do their dirt. I need to clarify something. I'm not saying these are not scratches and because I can't see the scratches, it doesn't mean they're not, they're not there. I am not saying that. I'm saying if you're taking photo evidence of something, we should be able to know what that something is. You can't be using, like, that's me taking a picture of my face and say, like, oh, I got hit. Like, I, I, I don't know what that is. So I'm not saying he didn't get scratched or hit or whatever. I just can't tell from the pictures. That's all I'm saying. Work. And I feel like they, the reason they chose Armand was because I feel like out the gate, he was already like, 
I, I won't say on the fence, but in the middle of not not knowing who did what for real, for real. We hear what's being said, but we don't know for real, for real. And I feel like that's why they chose him um, to put this information out. And I feel like they was trying to use him. So I feel like if there's video and you're claiming that you have video and things, um, then put that out. But here's the gag for me. And I'm, I, the gag for me is that when Kiki was um, assaulted or harassed or whatever y'all want to say, this girl went to the courts. Y'all family over here trying it in the media. Are you okay? Are you okay? Y'all are over here trying to sway public opinion. You better be careful. Because uh, I feel like Tori tried to do the same thing and it didn't, it didn't play out too well for him. So I'm just, okay, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, I just have questions. I do, I do. So if you feel it though, she has, you know, attacked this young man and done all these things, then drop it. Where are your screenshots? All right. So I'm going to go and play the video, the, the audio that he released, which there, I have a bunch of issues with this audio that he did release. Um, the first issue that I have with the audio is ultimately that, like, I don't know necessarily what you yeah. said before you started recording, right? So here's the audio of Kiki's mom that Darius released. And first of all, the person who is recording, I don't trust. Because you are not about to show your true colors when you're recording someone else. Like, no one is dumb enough to hit record and then act up. No, they're going to hit a record when you're acting up, and then they pretend like they don't have problems still. So that's my problem. Armand, I don't know his name. I don't know his videos. I don't know what he's talking about, so I can't really comment on him. Um, don't watch him, so it's fine. All right. <clears throat> Bro, I've seen this like 20 different times, Sharon. It doesn't phase me anymore. <laughs> None of what y'all do phase me anymore. Come on now. Where's my son at? <laughs> Where's my son at? Okay. Okay. I'm sure. That, that. <laughs> That's what you raised. That's what you raised. You are, yeah, and that's what your mama raised. Dick sucker. Okay. Your mother's a dick sucker, too. I'm sure. Both of y'all are dick suckers. I'm sure. You probably suck dicks, too. Okay. Dick sucker. Yep. You are dick sucker. All right, so, so about a bullet. I'm like, get some out your fucking. All right, so about that bullet again. You keep fucking with me, you might get a dick in your ass. Okay. Keep fucking with me. Okay. Ah, uh, y'all, y'all have no idea who you stepped up and play with. But it's you all good. Nice to yeah. Nope. Girl, Usher has been trending <laughs> because she said Usher is gay, and now poor Usher is trending all over the internet. Because people say Usher is gay. Look. Don't know. And I don't think he, she should be dragged because she doesn't know she's been recorded. She's not trying to out Usher. She's just saying, why were you mad about Usher? Because Usher is gay. Usher doesn't want to be with Kiki. So, like, why would you? That's how I'm interpreting what she's doing. But she does. She did came out and made a post and said the only thing she lied about was that Usher was gay. If I were her, I wouldn't have cleared up anything. <laughs> I wouldn't have cleared it up. Because <laughs> when it, when you start saying, I lied about this or that, uh, it starts sounding seeming, no, no, I'm not doing that. This is what happens when you date men who can only afford to pay the life. <laughs> Period. That's what people don't usually talk about, which I find annoying. People don't talk about the fact that, like, Ego becomes a problem for a lot of these men who cannot deal with the fact that women, they, the women they're with are, like, outperforming them financially, academically, like, socially, um, in terms of fame. Like, a lot of men can't handle this. And if I had to guess, that would be my guess regarding what is happening here. Tell her to put some clothes on. Tell her to put some clothes on. 
Tell her, tell her to put some clothes on. Tell her to put some clothes on. She's a mom. She has to put some clothes on. She's a mom. She has to put some clothes on. Yeah. Okay. So what my son do? Where's my son at? Even Marcus, John, even Marcus Johnson, the nigga that your brother named after, his kids told me y'all are crazy. Okay. He was the one in the in the video. They told me that you and your brother's crazy. It's crazy because his brother's named after after their dad. Right. And they said y'all are nuts. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh yeah, he is. I'm just waiting for my son. Where's my son at? It's football Sunday. He needs to be with his family. They have, they, they have nothing to do with this. They have nothing to do with this. They have nothing to do with this. No, they don't. Okay. Yes, Kiki is in the same room with her. For context, he shouldn't be in there. Essentially, he broke into her house because he has a key that he shouldn't have had and came over there talking about he wants his son to go watch football or some foolishness um, when he's not supposed to be there. There's no agreement for anything. He just allegedly just showed up there um, asking for his son and kiki called her mom and she's like girl why are you here at my daughter's house please leave get out and something happened where they're yelling at each other Where's my son? That's all I'm just asking for. I'm not here for her. Did you put it through? Did you put it through? Did you put it through? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Wait, wait. So Kiki's mother was dragging him. Your articulation is poor. That's why you can't get no acting job. <laughs> Did they call the police? <clears throat> I think so. I think the mom did. Kiki was being really calm, and I'm assuming that's because he was physically there. It's triggering to hear because like obviously she's like why are you bothering me kiki to to the darius the mom is like why are you over there why are you over there and it's like girl why are you there like go to the court figure out an arrangement for you and your child like you can't just go into this woman's house because y'all have a child together wait do you think you're now in control of her because you have a child like is that the consensus? Do you think you have access, like complete access to her because y'all have a child and her and her house? If you don't get out of my house, like that don't make no sense. Like why are you in her house? Stay outside and yell from outside to bring your child so we can call the police. Like what do you mean? How are you in the house? Yeah, I think I think some people do think that. 
They think that if they have a kid with someone, they just have <clears throat> like all access to that person um, whenever they want. Some people think that, I think. God, I hope Kiki get this full custody. Sure. Um, I, I, if, if, if only, if only, if only you actually like. What does that mean? Can you put it through? He's trying to say he's trying to do the whole child actor <clears throat> parents um, sacrifice their childhood gag. Oh well, okay. Well, we got um, look at her. thirty million dollars for that. Look at so, her. That's fine. Yeah, I sacrificed her. I guess. Okay. And that's what you want to say. But what did your mom do for you? Huh? My mom's fine. You should have been a child entertainer. That because you're nuts. Yeah. There's no reason for you to say that. Jezebel, calling me Haiti. So that's all necessary. You do all all of that unnecessarily because something's wrong with your mind. It's not normal. You sound like you have a broken brain and you need to go to see somebody because you're chemically imbalanced. There's nothing that I've done for you to stay on that page. People have endured more. I've endured more from you and I don't do that to you. I don't sit up there and call you all kinds of names and do stuff like that. You randomly have, have an episode and then you harass me for an hour straight. That's what you do. Now, now I'm gonna it's not you. normal. I'm it's not necessary. You. you can just not talk to me. You up to his bisexual, he sleeps with me and you stupid. You the stupidest up on earth. You should know you spend a lot of time with Julian. You the dumb and then you let your family, you let your brother talk you into, oh, hey man, look, your brother's a pussy too. I'm taking in Hollywood is he's a boy and he's a and nobody really likes him. Sorry, this is really serious. We're talking about DV and all kind of thing, but the mom is going in. That the, the Kiki, Kiki's mom is going in, and I'm I'm not saying this about them, but in Jamaica there's this idea that if you're talking, you don't actually want to harm someone because people who want to engage in the behavior don't talk about it; they just do it, right? And so, like, I think I think this applies here, where Kiki mom, it, Kiki's mother, is just really frustrated. Like, leave my daughter alone. This is ridiculous. Now I am tired, and this is how I'm expressing the fact that I'm tired. And I'm not like, oh, justifying what she's saying, but it's like, at what point do, do you get that release? Like, leave my daughter alone. Like, why are you here? Why are you in her face? Why are you calling her names? Why are you trying to use the child to control her? Like, this is ridiculous. This is awkward. You said she abused you. You didn't file charges. Why are you there physically? If you're afraid of her abusing you, why are you there? Why aren't you with an escort of police coming over for whatever visit you have? That's why I don't believe anything he's saying. All right, Petty, go ahead. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if, um, if I would be talking like that to someone who's in the home with my daughter. Um, I'd probably be too scared to anger them. So I disagree with the method, but I understand. Agreed. I agree. <clears throat> Why? So <laughs> Usher probably woke up like, seeing his name trending and was like <clears throat> like what's going on because she mentioned usher like a lot usher yeah, didn't because that's that. where the issue came from kiki palmer filed a restraining order that's where the issue came from in from fact, the outfit at that performance yeah. that we talked about well, before right yeah, that's where the public issue came from. There was uh, apparently he's been abusing her behind the scenes for a while. And the mother, Kiki's mom, went to um, his Darius's brother to tell him about it. And the, the stories are conflicting here because Kiki's mom said, oh, no, that was me. Kiki's mom said Darius's brother, who was an insecure, was saying, oh, it's fine. That was me when I was young. He'll grow out of it, essentially. And 
Darius' brother is like, no, I never said that. Say what I said verbatim. So I don't know what's happening. Um, but Kiki Mom did come out and say, yeah, I didn't mean to say all of that. She said, the lie I told about Usher was to get Darius to stop abusing my daughter on account of his jealousy. So I said he didn't like women for her safety. Everything else I meant with my chest. And I didn't expect anyone to hear it because recording me is illegal. I guess he's okay with jail, but I knew that when he put his hands on my daughter, he is still abusing her in all of the all of this, trying to paint himself as a victim. Textbook behavior. Agreed. Because he's trying he's trying to play this all out in the court of public opinion. And I am not sure why he thinks anyone would be on his side in any of this after we saw those pictures and videos of him dragging Kiki. Is this, so um, I know that we talked about the Usher uh, concert or the outfit. So that's like what stemmed. I mean, that's no, how that's this all that's the came public. public. That, yeah, the mother said they were, she was being abused before. Hmm. Even before, apparently they had a child, which that's a, that's a separate thing. And I don't want to get into it because I don't want to go down the route of the Steve Harvey conversation with Kiki and Steve Harvey very specifically telling Kiki, stop getting these young men and bringing them into your life. Get someone on your level or a higher who have something to lose. These people, Kiki has too much public in terms of her public profile it's too big she is too rich she has too much to lose to be slumming it with someone who doesn't seem to appreciate who she is personally and in the public domain who doesn't seem to respect her privacy and so it rings off kind of the same old story where women are being taken down by men because of their investment in these men without really without the men really proving any reason for them to be there. Like there is no reason for you to be there is no reason for this man to be in Kiki's life. At all. Like at all. Now that she, she she has a restraining order. If I heard yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. and he still came over. No, that's after the restraining. Oh, order oh, was okay. Hmm. His mom has a restraining order against his dad since 2020. Runs in the family. Yeah, they and for me, the brother came out, and the brother's baby mother also came out and talked about the brother's abuse. So abuse just run in the family. I wanted to show the the clip not the clip but the video of the um <clears throat> the exchange between Kiki Palmer's mom and Darius's mother so so K Darius's mother said hello Sharon how are you? I've tried not to get involved in my son's personal business, but I heard that you are going to put a bullet in my son's head. Well then, now we have to involve the authorities because you don't respect or value yourself, and I can see no, I can see know my son's life. I don't know what she's talking about. You might have to kill all of us. I will file a police report on you. So, Sharon, um, the response was, please do not contact me from Kiki's mom. Please do not contact me with this ridiculous childish behavior. Your son choked his own sister. Deal with his anger issues. If he attacks my daughter in his own, in her own, 
where she pays the bills. He is trespassing and anything can happen. So he should stay away. You should be very ashamed to have raised a man who fights women. And I'm completely with the mom on this. Responses. Y'all tired? Um. These, the amount of like, the fact that so much of these things are, like the fact that we know so much of their life and business is just really um, interesting to me. I think that, you know, uh, Kiki and even her mom, I guess, should do uh, what they need to do legally and like stop with the, I mean, I just think social media, you should say as little as possible um, and then just go through like channels of the law to deal with these types of issues. Because I think sometimes, I don't know, just handle it legally. I agree. Uh, this is because they have a case, apparently, like based on everything you said in terms of like the videos and then all of this other stuff and him illegally recording if they were not in a state where you can do that. I don't know if I don't know. But yeah, so they have like the evidence they need. Hmm. This is a good reason to seek out men uh, when dating who don't have, um, who don't believe in gender roles. Um, traditional men are probably more abusive. That's what I believe. Is that what you got from all of this? Um, well, I did see Cynthia have a conversation about standards, boundaries, and expectations. And I don't think Kiki can... Um, Obviously, no one can bet with 100% accuracy, but there are definitely some things you can do to mitigate um, your likelihood to end up with someone like this, or Steve Harvey wouldn't have said what he said. Tell me more. That's all I got. Okay. So people in the... Oh, go ahead. Gave you everything I had. So people in the comments are saying that he put out all this stuff like it was going to be like, I guess, privately handled until he started sharing all these receipts, which I didn't know. So, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Um, but I guess like I don't know what he thought he was doing, but honestly, I think it makes him look worse. Yeah, no, I think he thought this was a sculptory and I don't know why. <laughs> Are you guys OK? <laughs> It feels very like like low. Are you t are you guys okay? Let's stop with the topics. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Betty, did you change clothes? I put a jacket on. It's a little chilly. Oh. Hmm. I saw a few people say, "Open up the panel." I yeah. wonder if they want to talk about Kiki or. Yeah, I'm going to do it. For... Why, why do you think that the, this... <laughs> someone is saying something to me. Why do you think this is that... Mo so many people are saying, like, we should blame... Ki we shouldn't blame... We should blame sort of... Kiki's choice in men as opposed to the man who did the attacking. Are people think, saying that? Yep. I don't know, Petty. These modern 50-50, I need a woman to help me build type men are proving to be real abusive. Exactly. Um, I agree, Finn. Nakaris, go ahead. Um, can y'all hear me? Yes, yep. how are you? Um, I'm tired of the world. Um, but anyway, um, I'm, I was going to say that the reason Darius is doing all of this now, it, especially publicly, it's, um, especially after the whole Usher outfit incident, is because he is rightfully banking on people's hate for Black women 
to outweigh his abuse. That's why he's banking on, and I'm at the point right now where I don't think he's going to be wrong. You Do you think the community is going to turn against Kiki? They already proved that they would. Do you think so? Like, I think you're on, wrong. So in general, as like if we're speaking like the overall black community, yes. Especially with a child involved, absolutely. So you think, do you believe Kiki is well-loved in the community? As an actor, yeah. And you think we would turn against, because like I thought about this, and I don't think Darius is going to have a feet to stand on. I don't Le- think people are going to like side with him. Legally, he doesn't, legally, he doesn't have a foot to stand on. Black yeah, community-wise, but- with a child involved, after the incident of that outfit, absolutely, they're going to side with them. Because mm. remember, black women can't be breaking up families and keep using children to give away the black fathers. They're gonna See, I, I think that what you're saying, um, I get why you're saying what you're saying. I guess, so in terms of Kiki's like career and like things that really matter, I don't think people are going to turn against her. Um, I think that there will be online spaces that try to drag her um, to, you know, capitalize on this, like you just said, um, because, you know, we've seen that happen. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that um, in terms of like anything that's going to impact her life outside of, you know, reading comments, I know that that can definitely be very impactful and hurtful. But I don't think like people that actually matter to her or in her life are going to turn against her. Oh, absolutely not. Not that. I'm talking about like where, like the online community, like you said, um, is what I'm focusing on. Um, or like public opinion. Public opinion is either going to be silent, like they were um, with Meg, or they're going to be against her. Like the loudest voices are not going to be supportive. Yeah, in some of these online spaces, I agree. In fact, the headline that I saw um, with the one when I said earlier, I just kind of kept scrolling. Someone um, doing the same thing that you just said they would do. So yeah. I could see that. Especially with um, Darius and his family already partnering up with specific online faces. Like who? Um, the person, like the social media person we just watched, not the lady, but whoever um, posted the pictures of Darius. Oh, the Armand guy, the Armand yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot his name. Um, but I can already see a direction where Darius is going to utilize and weaponize the manosphere to drive um, social opinion, like public opinion about this. And it's not going to be in, in like supportive light for Kiki. I agree with you. Um, I just, I hope we are wrong because, like, my estimation is that this man, like, y'all can't say, Kiki need to go home, go home to this man, and then see videos of him being abusive. Like, now you need to reconcile that with your idea that she need to go home. And the fact that people aren't doing that is a problem for me. It's like, how are you this um, ideologically driven that you can see when you are wrong? Like, this man is abusive. It's a problem that she's with him. And I don't understand why that's not like, okay, Kiki needs to get out of this. Like, we saw the videos. And even if it is true that Kiki is hitting him, which, if that is true, she needs to be away from him regardless. So I think like, like what is happening, like the mistake we keep making in the situations is, like even with the Halle Berry situation, we all... Well, I shouldn't say we because I wasn't alive, but um, we all assume that no matter how like loved and positive and private a Black woman is in any space, that they will be protected by the general public in the Black community because they're, that person is so unproblematic. Unproba- but at the end of the day, this is still a Black woman, a brown-skinned yeah. or dark-skinned woman, whatever um, 
color chart you want to use, this is a black woman at the end of the day. There is no exception to the rule when it comes to the hate black women face in the black community. Hey, just now tuning in, did we address why Petty is wearing a suit yet job interview today? I don't know. Petty, why are you wearing a suit? Just a little chilly. Mm. He said just a little chilly. Nicaris, thank you. Coca? Hey, uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah, I went to a Tamar concert before, and it does have a twerk section. <laughs> and it's really not as ratchet as it sounds, to be honest. It just kind of one of the songs on her track has that more upbeat vibe. And it, it really is a more fun moment during the show. But as far as the Kiki um, situation goes, I believe her 100%. Um, I've been around and I've been in an abusive situation and I don't feel like just because she admitted to putting her hands on him that that automatically means that she is like the aggressor in the situation that they went through that we had access to see you know like it could have just been like self-defense because it is scratches it's not like he had major bruising it was like a scratch on his arm and on his neck. And then on top of that, we don't even know when it happened. There's no timestamps to go with it. So it's just kind of like, okay, we just supposed to believe you over photo evidence showing us you literally tossing this girl around the room. You're twice her size. You're way stronger than her. So it's just like BS and the fact that yeah. You know, yeah, that. to be fair though, I'm not for anyone hitting anyone, but if Kiki is hearing, let me say uh, this. If someone is asking, oh, did you hit him? Did you hit him? Please be very specific in what happened. And if it's self-defense, be clear. Because the last person that came out, Megan the Stallion, not with Tory Lanez, but when she told us about why she has a mug shot, the story she told was that her ex-boyfriend came to fight her. He was hitting her, and she hit back, and they were fighting. When the police came, the police turned to her and asked her, hey, was he hitting you? Looking at how she messed up she was, she said no, because she was afraid that he would go to jail. When the police went to the ex-boyfriend and asked, did she hit you? Mm -hmm. He said yes, and she ended up in jail with a mugshot. So be careful what you're confessing and when and how you're telling the story and be very specific yeah, about what like, happened. That's part of the abuse. That's part of the mental aspect to it is the fact that you actually do love and care about this person. So you don't want them to end up in jail. You don't want the, the information to get out there that the dude that everybody has been pretty much saying is going to be trash for you. That is actually true. And he really is trash. Like it's in, it's like a, it's so many levels to it in my opinion, and I feel like it's not being considered just because you hear one voice memo that's super chopped and screwed. It doesn't even sound like it happened in the same moment of the video of her mom, but we're just supposed to believe that now all of a sudden she's always been going toe to toe with this man. Like no, it, he probably could have pushed her to her ultimate max. She finally lashed out and she's willing to apologize for that because he's literally been beating into her mind that, oh, we're, we're both in this. You you hit me too. Like you did this to me too. Like he probably was guilt tripping her into literally thinking, okay, well, okay, we were abusive to each other. It's like another reason for her to stick into the relationship because now she's thinking to herself, well, yeah, I done did, I done did my dirt too. Like, no. No, it's all part of it's all part of the mental abuse added on top. And and she even mentioned that in her letter, she mentioned how he would gaslight her into thinking she did wrong. And it's it's like it's so true because people don't understand because they haven't been through it. But if you have been through it, it's like almost so clear. Cause I was literally just looking back at my own situation, because this whole situation really did trigger me. Because it's just reminding me of everything that I've been through in my personal past. And like the guy, 
he literally would attack me first every single time. And yeah, I fought back. I'm not, I'm not just going to let there, you sit there and put your hands on me. Yeah, I'm going to fight you back. Yeah, I'm going to uh, throw something at you if you freaking choking me and, and doing all this stupid crap. Yeah, I am going to fight back. And just because I don't call the police on you, now it means that it never happened. No, that's bull crap. You know what I'm saying? It's so many people that let it slide because they're thinking, oh, well, he said he's not going to do it no more. Or, or yeah, dang, well, I did hit him. I mean, yeah, I hit him. So now I don't want the cops to be involved because they probably not even going to see things from my side. Like, And then on top of that, they are black. I know she's a celebrity, but it's just like I said, like she probably didn't want to get the police involved until she had to, until he started threatening the baby too, acting real crazy, saying, saying just all this kind of crazy stuff. And I believe her. I believe he really did say some real sick, crazy stuff in front of the baby. And now he trying to sit up here and act like he want to be the best dad ever. Man, screw you. That's why I, I understood why the mom was talking mess. Cause it's like, I hate you. Like I hate you. And you just, and, and you just keep talking your mess, but you think I'm just supposed to take that crap. And no, she wasn't thinking about the consequences. She over here just talking her mess because it's like, I'm tired of you. You just, um, I'm sorry, it's like, I, I just feel like I really do relate to her. I just feel so bad for her. I hate that people always so quick to just jump ship. Like they don't never want to just let things make sense to them. Like for real, like we, I, I don't know about y'all, but I know so many women that have been abused, so many. And it's just like, why y'all acting like it's so unbelievable? That junk is so annoying to me. It's, it's just like the whole situation just got me so heated because I know that she over here blaming herself this entire time. I know she beating herself up right now. She blaming herself for everything. And if it doesn't, I know my voice don't really mean nothing, but I just want to be like, it's not, it's not your fault. It's not all your fault. You got to forgive yourself and just move on from the situation. And that's Don't why. say that though, because your, your voice means something. And you, I think you touched a lot of people in the chat and on the screen. And I, I am one sorry that you went through this. And the fact that this sort of sentiment is something that so many women are familiar with and understand, not just from a theoretical perspective, but like a personal and intimate level, is ridiculously sad. Like the fact that so many women see Kiki and what she's going through and feel it so deeply because of their own experience, not just like an, an empathy that it, that is external, like uh, on a deep level, like that is sad. That, that is a sad state of affairs. Thank God whatever happened, like the things that happened to me were years ago. So I genuinely, for the most part, it, I'm able to live my life and not think on these things, but the, just the situation it feels so close to home to me that I yeah. just, I do relate to her. And it's, it's just a terrible situation. And I just hope that she does get justice. Like, I, I do too. I really hope that she does get justice. And I'm glad that you have, you have healed or healing from your experience. Cause that is some tough stuff to go through. So I appreciate that. Thank well, you. Thank y'all. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank y'all. I hope y'all. Please come it. back up and talk to us yeah, anytime definitely. you feel. I appreciate yeah. that. Have a good night. Y'all too. Bye. Bye. Armand is advocating for Darius. I need to go and, re and record all the people advocating for Darius, actually, because that's something that I need to, to do and just keep. Um, was he eating cereal while her mom was talking? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, so we're going to go into the after show because we are eight minutes over the two hour mark. So I apologize for keeping longer um, and then come back and do our final piece and then go. Um, I might come back to this topic on Friday um, because I actually I don't think there was space enough for people who wanted to join in on the conversation. And maybe I should have opened the panel a bit earlier. So I'm going to try, I'm going to do this on, I'm going to try to engage in more conversations on Friday. So I'll see you guys close your ears as we
play this outro. <laughs> All right, Petty, um, Petty and K, what say you, final thoughts? Um, completely unrelated. My friend told me a very um, interesting dating story about a man messaging her. Everything seemed fine. They plan a date for the weekend. Um, a day or two later, before the weekend came, he messaged her and said, I have a girlfriend, so I'm not entertaining anything. I love her. So in my mind, right, this is just the worst thing ever. Like you didn't just suddenly get a girlfriend today. You've been had her. So why is she just coming up in conversation today? Anyway, especially when you're on a dating site in the first place. But anywho, the story ends here, right? No. He messages her the next day and he says, sorry, my girlfriend made me text that LOL. My friend did not respond for like four hours. So he texted it four hours later and he was like, are we still on for the weekend? So that was the girlfriend needs to leave. <laughs> Why are you forcing your boyfriend to go through his phone and cut off women that he's about to text as soon as you leave the room? I, it couldn't be me. That's all. It couldn't be you, what? The, getting a text from a man saying they have a girlfriend. It couldn't be me going to my partner and saying, you're going to go through your phone and cut off all of your side pieces who you're cheating on me with. And then we continue the relationship. It couldn't be me. Gotcha. <laughs> Demons, gotcha. I just wanted to know what couldn't be him. Just trying to be clear. You know, after I'm going to go do some Googling because I feel like I need to know what did Birdman do? Not Why really. are people feeling a way about Birdman? Birdman is Birdman. But what did he do wrong? Everything. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into that. Did okay. he did he steal these people's money? Look, yeah, go look into it and come back and tell me. I, <laughs> I don't... no people would just say, how can you look down on other people while dating Birdman? Which I don't think is fear. Um, but she is dating Birdman, so it's like. Ugh. But what did Birdman do? <laughs> he named himself Birdman at like forty something years old. So I really liked what happened to that boy and the whole thing. I mean, he promotes, someone said he promotes violence and ad addiction. So. Oh. Okay, so there's some things I don't know about Birdman. All right. Wait, you don't know any of his raps? Huh? You don't know any of his rap songs? No, I mean, I know some. Um, He hasn't had one anytime recently, I don't think. No. Not that I know of. That was back when I was in like was I in high school? Maybe when that came out? I don't know. But I haven't heard any of his songs in a, quite some time. Um, so that's why I thought maybe he did something recently. I mean, he people. did. There are some stories that someone wrote it in there about Lil Wayne and him and underage and things. So definitely go look into that and then let me know what you find. Oh, yeah. I will look into it. I'll look into it after the show. All right. Well, thank you all for being here. I do appreciate you guys so, so much for coming. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please remember to like the video. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I will see you all Friday for a jam-packed show of great Good night. content. <laughs> Bye. Good night.